Good evening, welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope that all is well in your life. Um, welcome to new listeners and welcome to those that listen on a regular basis. Welcome back to you. Today's talk is on you're the author, the author of your own book. Never forget that. Like, share, leave comments on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever medium you find me on. I'm also on Instagram. Um, leave your comments. People like your comments. I like reading them. I will reply. Also, people learn from your comments. So today's talk is you're the author of your book. What does that mean? You're the author of your life in general. That's what I'm trying to say. So the key thing what you need to think about is now that we're out of lockdown, we're going back to a normal sort of lifestyle, not normal, normal, quote unquote. What are you going to do with your life? You know, time is going to be ticking. You need to create memories, good memories, memories that mean something to you, something that you could say to your grandchildren, to your children, to friends, you know, parties. Talk about you, your life. Your life needs to be interesting. You can't just be going to work, coming home, paying the bills, watching EastEnders, Coronation Street, and stuff like that. You've got to try, in my opinion, to have really good experiences, really good things that make you feel happy and very good memories. And the only person that can create all of that is you. Nobody's going to come up to you and say to you, you know what? Can we go to Cairo and I'm going to pay for the trip for you? I bought the hotel and everything for you. And, you know, you just go. It's not really going to happen. You need to do it yourself. Obviously, you need to work. You need to save the money. And you need to get book these sort of things for yourself. But who's in control of your life? Is you. Nobody else can help you to determine or control your life or find what you need to do other than yourself. You are the person that needs to take action in your life to create memories for yourself good experiences you take risks and some of these risks you take obviously will not work out for you but what I find um, when I look at people that are successful what happened with them is they took more risks than everybody else hence they got a percentage of them that were successful and that was what they learned from so in general life is about experience good experiences putting your best foot forward and seeing what happens nothing is going to happen to you if you stay at home or if you just stay in the mediocre zone. If that's where you want to be, well, well and good. But to me, life is about experiences. When you get to that latter stages of your life, like let's say, for instance, you're at old people's home, you don't want to be talking about that you worked at Morrison's for, for, or, or, or Sainsbury's for 50 years and, and they gave you a gold clock and you, know, you could talk about how many customers came in and how many customers came out and you had one holiday to Bournemouth every two years. That to me is like, you know, it's not living life. You can do more. And this is what this video is about, to inspire you to push that boat out and see what you can achieve. For some people, I don't know, they don't mind that mediocre life and taking things slowly, living life simply. And to be quite honest, there is nothing wrong with it. But for those of you that are thinking that, oh, you know what, I could do a bit more. I could push myself a little bit harder. There are things I want to do. There is eight wonders of the world out there and I wouldn't mind seeing four or five of them, maybe not all of them. Why not go for it? There's nobody stopping you from doing what you want to do other than yourself. Of course, there's financial constraints. There's that constraint, there's this constraint. But you know what? People that actually go there, they actually went through those constraints as well. And not, you know, they're not all multimillionaires or whatever. You can do what you want to do within reason. And, you know, life is not a dress rehearsal. You will not get a second chance at this thing. As far as I know, you will not be reincarnated. So you, the only chance what you've got is the here and the now, and obviously tomorrow and next week. And you can plan for these things. Even if you even just going down to somewhere like Brighton, I live in London, even just going to Brighton for the day, and you've not been there for a year or six months or whatever it might be, that's a, an exciting thing to do. Jump on the train, Jump on, uh, uh, jump on a bus or a coach, whatever, drive in a car, get out, experience life. You're not going to get this time back. You're not. And there's no point when you get to the old people's home, whatever it might be in latter years, and you're sitting down and complaining, oh, you know, I didn't do really much with my life. I didn't enjoy my life. You have the opportunity now to address your life 
and do things that you like doing. Who's going to do it for you? Nobody. So this is the talk. You are the author of your book. You are the designer of your movie. You are the person that can initiate what you want out of your life. If you're in, happy, in again, if you're in, in unhappy situations, um, cantankerous relationships, you can remove yourself from them. You don't have to stay there. You can get out of them and pick the, and be by yourself. And then obviously find somebody new. It can happen, but it's all down to you. There's no, you cannot blame anybody for the position that you're in in life longer than you need to. All right, some situations are created. Sometimes, some of us didn't have really good um, childhoods, stuff like that. We didn't have really good time when we left school. We had difficult partnerships. We had difficult jobs. It happens. But guess what? At the end of the day, there's some time when you can actually take autonomy of your life and decide where you want to go with it. And this is what this talk is about. There's, there's no one, two, three steps to follow. It's just what do you want out of your life? How many good experiences do you want to cram in? And you know what? You can cram in as many as you want. You don't have to go to Cairo. You don't have to go on the Golden Gate Bridge. You don't have to go to Vietnam. You don't have to go to Australia. You don't have to go to South Africa and so on. To ha or, or go on so far as. You just need to push your boat out a bit and enjoy your life. Because there's only one you've got. And believe it, after a few seconds, what seems like a few seconds, it's gone. So make the most of what you've got, the energy what you have now, the mental capacity what you have now, and get on and enjoy your life. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You found it useful, motivational, inspirational, which is the objective of the video. Share it with friends, family. Leave comments. As I said, I'll get back to you. No matter what you say, I will, I will respond. Share this with your friends and your family because some people might be just moping away, wasting their time and you can see it. Maybe this might be the little spark of inspiration that gets them on the go and gets them moving. Until next week, try to stay positive, take care of yourself and set your goals and achieve them. You are the author of your own book. Take care, bye. Bye for now.